Welcome to this month's General Engineering Pro News Roundup. My name is Rebecca and here are the top stories. The German government has agreed on a package of legislative reforms to boost solar expansions in the country. The proposed measures will simplify the registration of balcony solar systems and make access to affordable solar power easier for property owners and tenants. The German government also plan to ease power grid connections. The simplified process initially introduced in 2023 will be expanded to cover systems up to 30 kWp. Murrah Technology has formed a research partnership with Belgium's Ghent University to explore how its technology might be used to recycle a more comprehensive range of waste. Under a new five-year partnership, researchers will build a continuous pilot-scale plant at Ghent's Laboratory for Chemical Technology to explore where the Murrah's Hydro PRT technology can be used for a broader range of hard-to-recycle plastics, including complex composite materials. Murray says the research results will inform the broader application of its technology and help its chemical partners understand the potential of products from circular feedstocks. French energy company Total Energies SE has agreed to buy Sapura Energy BHD's 50% stake in Malaysian natural gas producer Sapura OMV Upstream SDN for $530 million. The deal aligns with natural gas potentially playing a role as a transition fuel as countries seek to mitigate carbon emissions from fossil fuels while meeting rising energy demand. The French company said that the planned acquisition of 50% of Sapura OMV from Sapura Energy is expected to be completed in the second half of 2024. After both transactions clear regulatory approvals, Total Energies will own 100% of Sapura OMV. British Steel has been granted planning permission to build an electric arc furnace at its Teesside plant, a key milestone in its £125 billion decarbonation plan. The manufacturer's proposed transformation, its biggest in more than a century of steelmaking, is subject to appropriate support from the UK government. Significant preparation works, including environmental and technical studies and equipment selection, are underway to ensure the company's ambitious proposals can be delivered immediately, while discussions with the UK government continue. Bristol Myers Squibb has signed a $380 million deal with cell therapy manufacturer Solaris. The agreement, which includes upfront and future milestone payments, gives BMS exclusive access to an unspecified number of Solaris's compact automated cell therapy manufacturing units in the United States, Europe and Japan. The announcement comes four days after Solaris launched CellQ, which the company touted as the world's first automated quality control work unit for cell therapy manufacturing. Finally, in September 2022, Marco Polo Marine unveiled plans to build, own and operate its commissioning service operations vessel to meet the increasing demand for support vessels from Asia's offshore wind farm industry. The 83-metre-long ship, currently under construction at Marco Polo Shipyard in Batam, Indonesia, can accommodate up to 110 persons and will be the first CSOV to be designed in Asia, according to the shipbuilder. Scheduled to be deployed in Taiwan for a Vestas project in early October, it will feature hybrid-based energy storage systems expected to reduce carbon emissions by up to 20%. That's all we've got time for today. Don't forget to follow us on LinkedIn at NES Faircroft for your daily dose of engineering news, career advice and job vacancies. See you next time for our engineering news roundup. <laughs>